to you about the world of electronics and how I feel it's starting to ruin our children and our holiday spirit. Stay tuned, I'll be right back in just a moment. Hi, I'm William Lee, podcaster, podcast producer, and the founder of the Kiva Agency for Social Marketing. Wow. You know, I have people ask me all the time, Bill, why are you so old and stubborn about what's going on in the field of electronics? Have you not thought about the factor that you do podcasting and the way that you're enabled to do podcasting is through this this wonderful high technology that keeps developing and growing every day? How come you can be so negative when part of making your life and living is through this, what you call the one-eyed monster of technology? Well, you're right. I'm being hypercritical. I'm probably going overboard with some of my statements. But I think you'll see as we go on in the next couple of minutes where I'm focusing on and how electronics is aiding in the dark side of our lifestyle. Now, if you remember right, electronics are being developed so that we have more leisure time, leisure time to be with the family, leisure time to enjoy those simple holidays and traditions that our folks brought to our attention when we were kids. Uh, wait a minute. You know what's happened now? Well, it hasn't done any of that. In fact, what it's done now, it's taken more of our time. You see that leisure time that they talk about when you can just have a great evening. Uh, maybe you're sitting around a dinner table and it's the holiday season and you're you're enjoying a, a simple conversation with your kids or your husband about what went on at work today or what's going on in the family in simple, simple terms. You know, that just communication, that that camaraderie, that feeling of togetherness. You know, huh? Togetherness? Hello? Well, it's gone, folks, because now when we sit down at that free time that we've got, it's been freed up, of course, we find ourselves sitting in front of a computer, scanning through and Googling questions that we have about life and medicine and and hobbies and travel, and the list can go on and on and on. Or wait, maybe, folks, we're shopping online. What is in the world is the reason should we get into a car and actually be with people when we can sit behind a keyboard and I'll take one of those, a half a dozen of those bananas, uh, that'll be five and you don't can't put that in the cart. And we talk to ourselves. That's right. We have no exposure to others because slowly but surely electronics is driving us right into our homes. Our children now have the opportunity to learn new stuff that, well, when I was a child, I never got to learn. Like, for instance, now, when I was a kid, when you were being babysat, actually somebody was talking with you or sitting and watching television or doing something in a actual relationship of communications. But nowadays, with the wonderful things that we have let take our lives away and give us more, you know, that spare time, we can now babysit simply by reaching into our pocket, taking out our cell phone and holding it right over Junior's head for just a moment so he can see the pictures on the screen and then handing it to him and allowing Junior to go ahead and, well, do whatever he wants to do as long as he doesn't cry and he's quiet. Oh, isn't that wonderful? And how about the excitement now that we have when people come over to have dinner with us and 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 you're sitting there and, oh, the food is wonderful and it smells so great. But, but wait, wait. Oh, my goodness. I just got a text in from Arizona. Oh, I got to answer this real quick. Oh, oh, oh. And all you hear around the table for 35 or 40 minutes, which used to be frolicking and communication and laughter, now all you hear is, oh, yeah. Click, 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 click. That's all you hear. Because nobody wants to talk to each other. They are in a world of technology. They are texting on a platform with their friends, their world. They are not even in the same room. Wow. Isn't that exciting? Isn't that exciting how this spare time that we now have to be with a family is so 
so used up by technology. I guess I'm just getting older and getting grumpier about it. But I do know one thing for sure. Technology was developed to, yes, help us out and to build companies, to help us out in communication, to keep each other more so than ever before in our lives. But where we've gone wrong or stepped off the curb and not looked and paid attention to where we were going was the factor that technology took over us. We're no longer a user of technology. We're now a victim of technology that's being held as a prisoner in our own homes. I hope someday that I'll be wrong, that somebody will come up and say, oh, I remember this podcast way back when of this old guy bloviating about how technology took away all the spare time and 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 all the wonderful things that technology had done for us how it was the evil dark evil evil that ruined our family time of just sitting there and enjoying each other's company i cannot believe how that man could have ever said anything like that and on top of all that how could he miss the factor that Technology is the thing, the in place. I can, I can go anywhere. I can educate my kids. I can go around the world in my leisure time. I can order my groceries. I can pay my bills. I can sit in a chair. And really, if it's set up properly, I can just go and do everything I need to do without ever putting my feet on the floor. What a wonderful thought, folks. And here's something else I'd like you to also consider while we're thinking about all the things that we, well, shall we say, have more leisure time to do. If we have so much leisure time, what happened to the holiday time? Now the holiday time is jingle bells, Google it, jingle all the way. You'll find out what you want to do by simply looking at the screen. Oh, I'm sorry for trying to sing, but it's just the basic point of what I'm getting at. Now Christmas, which has been accelerated up to the point where the Thanksgiving Day turkey has been replaced by an electronic Christmas tree that dances in your living room. You know, the one that you just race down to your computer and type up some numbers and all of a sudden, and it's dropped off at your front door. All you have to do is open the box, plug it in, and there you go. Do you remember maybe when you were a kid going out and searching for a tree or looking at the lights of other trees that were lit up on the streets of your town and how exciting you were to just think about your Christmas tree and putting the ornaments on the tree? Huh. Well, we have more leisure time, remember? Electronics helped us in that direction. The computer, the internet jumped in and said, hey, you don't need to do that anymore. Uh... How I linger for the good old days. And now I hope that someday that the art of conversation, especially at the holidays, and visiting and actually having people around you will come back again. I sincerely hope that Santa Claus won't be replaced, well, maybe he has already, by a simple, simple internet program that goes, ho, 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 who cares, it's you. Maybe we should think about going back to the good old days and enjoying Christmas with our family as it used to be. From our staff at Keep Alive, we want to wish your family from ours the best Christmas ever. You can leave us a message by simply going to Kiba, that's K-E-E-B-A, smiling.com. We read all messages and we'll answer back to you as soon as possible. Until we meet again, have a great conversation and keep us smiling.